Mission Local! I'm Bates, a.k.a. Black Hesher. Well, I'm just uh, meeting you for the first time, and I've been a Facebook yes. friend for a while, and uh, a big fan of your work, and just wanted to know all about you. Okay. Tell me what's um, I live in San Diego. Um, I'm actually from Massachusetts. Okay. I've been living out here for about going on three years. Okay. Um, started making music out here with my friends and whatever I was doing, I just feel like I was kind of in the right place at the right time for okay. the style of music I like to make. And it just kind of just started catching on, excuse me. And I just rolled with it, you know, like when I made the first Black Kesha record, uh, I put it out. 2018 summer of 2018 and it was really at that time supposed to kind of be like the last musical thing i did so it was like i'm just gonna do everything on one record all my influences are you recording all this stuff yourself are you working with other musicians um much i mean like i'm part of a crew called music and it's it's pretty much a collective of different bands and artists uh MCs, so everything from hip hop to punk and kind of everything in between. So everybody's always working on each other's records. I think with with my thing, it was important to use like you know live guitar stuff like that in the studio. But when we play live, it's like us and turntables yeah. and microphones and hanging from things and breaking things <laughs> and just the pure chaos of that, you know, yeah. as opposed to going on rhyming with a, like a full on band, gotcha. you know? Yeah. Um, what, uh, the computer yeah. a little right when you said the name of that collective, what is the name of the collective you're in? Cult Music. Cult Music, right. Okay. Cult Music. Got it. Yeah. So yeah, it's like myself, um, the guy Jay Andrews, who's another uh, MC kind of mixes other genres into his music, uh, the Bathwater, Babies, which is straight ahead raw punk, and half of the Bathwater Babies are actually half of the Spice Pistols. So the Spice Pistols extended from our crew as well. Um, on the East Coast, um, there's this artist Ty Hunt and Diastro, and they're more kind of like in a hip hop lane. But like everybody's different too, you know. It's just like if you kind of took our whole crew, maybe and if you thought of like Wu-Tang Clan, but yeah. like it was like all the jackass dudes, but yeah. they made music, that's probably like us. I don't know. I dig it. And lately we've, you know, been trying to extend it out to other artists we know, like um, this artist, Natalie Dime. She's been collaborating with us. She's uh, more of kind of, I don't know, she's like a, she's a songwriter, but like an EDM artist too. Okay. Uh, friend Emma Rogers, who's over in London, just trying to make it less of a boys club feel because yeah. we're just now with just like whatever is good music. And I think the whole thing is never to be boxed in, you know. For real. Um, Where can people find you? Are you doing any live streaming? Are you doing any live shows? Yeah, I mean, we're adapting. Like all of my stuff, is easy to find Spotify, Apple Music, um, Bandcamp, YouTube, which I don't super promote because I usually just upload my videos right to Facebook to because they're a program. You know, once you put like a YouTube link, like they don't want you to see it. Yeah. Um, but just about every streaming service um, going into the future because like we're used to being on the tour and go play shows and that's like where we got like a lot of our crowd. I think. The last show I played actually was on my birthday in February at fucking uh, a whiskey, the whiskey in L.A. Nice. And that was a dope show. But uh, that. so I adapted and I got my own TV show on the U.S. Weed channel. So we're doing this like it's kind of like a mutated variety talk sketch comedy show. And then I just reached out to like other musicians, everybody in you know, San Diego, Orange County, and I would to like come and just like have somebody different every week as a guest. Yeah. Um, 
be doing about 15 episodes for the first season and then after the first season it will go from this platform to like hulu apple tv and all that stuff um but i just kind of had to adapt because we don't know when we could play live again and, and we thrive on playing so thankfully my merch does really well good like i just found like whatever it is about the black cash and the logo it just like works as you know so uh, like i have like action figures coming out on friday we have like skateboard decks like i really found a way Sweet. to make it beyond like the music itself but like i'd rather just be playing shows <laughs> so i kind of just had to adapt so yeah. yeah i have the show coming out it's called this is a show and it's on the us we channel um uswc.tv so i'll be promoting that like when it comes out probably won't be ready for at least a month and a half uh but we just we we started shooting it and stuff and just pushing the music the best way we can online like with videos and and stuff like that um haven't really we did one streaming concert actually for the the we channel um a protest concert and you know, it was a little glitchy, but then afterwards people could still watch it after. So like, yeah. I fully support how everybody adapts. But this is honestly, despite these troubling times that we're in, something of, is different is about to hit like this whole entertainment industry. And in since this is the first time in a long time that all of a sudden it's going to be wide open, like there's going to be like this wide open gap and in chance for like, so many independent bands and artists to just level up really quickly because so many places are going to open back up or, or venues that may have been, you know, like maybe one band on their own couldn't fill. That's like a theater or something, but all of a sudden they got to open back up and these major artists that they have booked in a national acts are already every, their whole year is thrown off, you know, and all of a sudden like five or six bands are going to be able to get together and fill one of these bigger places and it's going to help them you know not There's only no that, like it's gonna be like the wild wild west in a way you know and not only that but um all these uh artists have had this time to create and you know a lot of people are saying this has been this most creative time in their life where they've you know just had all this time yeah. they've been experimenting and have, and stuff so and i think this is also aside from music like this is just one of moments in history where everything's changing you know Absolutely. and you just gotta kind of adapt and just go with it you know so i'm actually super hopeful for the future for everybody everybody on this planet actually i think you know things will get worse and then they'll get better you know as they always do and, and if you think of like at least speaking for myself growing up whether it's records that i stumbled upon that my parents had listened to or or other music that was coming up in genres when they were new and babies like punk or hip hop or hardcore or any type of offshoot of any rock, like it's craziness of the world made push bands to make some of like the greatest songs, you know? Like my music personally, I don't super get into politics or, or religion, but like I do enough of my own self, um, searching within myself and tearing down like the crazy shit i've been through enough that by the time my head's done with it like i you know yeah. i don't even know what i think about myself so i don't gonna tell anybody what i personally believe which is like shit about aliens and shit like i'm not gonna tell anybody else to believe what i believe but and if you're out in the desert i know you've seen something crazy in the sky oh, I'm, I'm sure if, i'm a full-on believer dude you have no idea yes dude but yeah i believe awesome. the world is changing well, shit only changes when it's bad so and it's been bad yeah things are changing and People then picking up everything is shifting and it's all gonna be yeah. and the planet's just like come on man it's just yeah. shaking everything up because it's had enough of us so we're gonna play one of your songs uh what, tell me what it is and what it's about i guess i'll start with something kind of my for my new album it's one of my favorite songs it's called robin williams and it's kind of like that's where you'll really hear the grunge hip-hop thing for lack of a better term cool. grudge hop i kind of jumped on that when i seen somebody 
who wrote an article about one of my things say that and it's just all right that's an easy way to explain it so and it's just about my own thoughts on suicide and past drug addictions and just like where my head at head is at and kind of feeling that way like ready to hang myself well it was a pleasure to meet you uh i hope to yeah. back down in san diego a lot once things open up a little more and uh hopefully we'll see you and good luck on the music awards uh that's gonna be a fun night and just pleasure All to right, meet thank you, you. taking the time to chat yes. with me Afraid, love more to make a visit than a poem, seek introductions, favors, influences. No, thank you. No, I thank you. And again, I thank you. Calculate, scheme, 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 scheme. Be afraid, calculate, scheme, 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 scheme. Be afraid, calculate, scheme, 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 scheme. Be afraid. Bridges on fire, but I'm still gonna cross it. I don't.